This is a helmet lock off of a Japanese motorcycle and uh, in this video I'm going to take this apart, show you how to take it apart, how to reassemble it, and then um, how you can use the information on your own bike. The way that this lock works is you insert your key, you can only turn the key in one direction, it unlatches this hook, you attach the helmet to the hook, lock the hook, remove the key and that locks your helmet to your bike. The first step in disassembling this lock is to remove the backing plate. It's two Phillips screws. And that will reveal the end of the lock cylinder. You'll see the tailpiece and the spring here in the tailpiece. Remove the spring. Then you can tailpiece will just drop off. You can set that aside. This is the end of your lock cylinder and this black part here, the rest of the lock, is your lock shell. The way that they hold this lock cylinder in place so it doesn't slide out is with this wafer here. They call this wafer a retaining wafer and uh, this is typical of, you see these a lot on motorcycles. The way you get this lock cylinder out is you uh, push this retaining wafer down then just push the lock cylinder out of the lock. When you do this there's wafers and springs so you want to be real careful uh, make sure none of those come flying out and that's how you get the lock cylinder out of the lock. A really cool thing you can do with your uh, lock cylinder when you've removed it from the lock and that is take your key insert it into the lock all the way you'll notice that when you do that um, the shoulder on this key, which is right here, lines up with the, the lock cylinder face. And uh, if you take your key out, place it on top of the cylinder, line up the shoulder with the lock face, you can see which cuts affect which wafers in the lock. And what you can do with that information, let's say for instance uh, you're afraid somebody um, got a copy of your key, you can take your key to a locksmith have them cut a new key but tell them to swap this cut with this cut then go back to your lock cylinder see which um, wafers those cuts affect and then you can take the wafers out they just lift out be careful there's a little spring that goes along with them spring is right there and then you can just swap wafers and what you basically done you do that to all your locks you basically end up with a new lock set rekeyed lock set and a new set of keys now to uh, reassemble this lock, uh, it's easier to do with the key in the lock because it holds down those wafers. Uh, remember how you took it out, this, um, this retaining pin or wafer here goes on top. So it'll go in like this and take your pick, work that retaining wafer down until you can insert the cylinder. Insert your cylinder, turn it around, make sure that uh, the wafer uh, pop back up and it's holding the cylinder into the lock and then remove your key. Next reinstall the tailpiece. Fits in here like this. Reinstall the spring. Make sure it's pressed down and fit in there correctly. And then reattach your backing plate. And when you reinstall this backing plate, make sure this, uh, this spring steel right here is covering up this hole, which is used to push this out when you unlock the lock. And then just make sure the lock is working. If you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer them, and thanks for watching.